Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, E. Claire here. Um, just coming in for a yet another rant. Um, so I've been kind of traveling. Has happened uh, today. And Dana has passed a more or less a right to discriminate uh, act, which is soon going to be ratified into law. Um, there is a number of problems with this, um, primarily with the fact that n no one should ever have the right to discriminate just because. Um, it says, you know, the, the wording in the law says that y you have to cite deeply held beliefs. Um, <clears throat> the main problem is that it is worded so loosely. Uh, in essence, what is going to end up happening, and the law will end up getting repealed, but uh, the people that it's supposed to protect, the conservative Christians, uh, they're going to be in for a rude awakening when, uh, say, Catholics use their, you know, the... the when they walk into a Catholic-owned establishment and the Catholic says, Oh, well, you're wearing a Protestant cross. I'm not going to serve you. Um, or they're in for a rude awakening when they go into a Muslim-owned establishment. <laughs> you know, Zeus forbid they walk into an establishment owned by a Muslim and he's just like, Oh, well, I, I can't serve you you're not the same faith as I am um, the people that this law was written by that the that they are trying to protect from feeling uncomfortable having to assist people that they don't necessarily agree with you know what it, it it shouldn't matter if you agree with someone if you own a public business and they come into your business to do business unless they're being unruly or like breaking things and what have you you should do business with them that's that's just dumb it is absolutely stupid i don't understand why anyone would desire this law that's like oh I don't want your money it's dirty it's 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 dancing mm -hmm. I mean absolutely ridiculous but I mean the the good thing about uh, and in fact the best thing about the uber conservative uber religious people that are in power <laughs> the absolute best thing about them is that they die they die they get they don't get reelected you know something like that they're not gonna always be in power and this ridiculousness needs to be at an end we need to be a full and complete society we need to include uh, Oh, you, another, another wonderful thing. Think about including people. Uh, one of the relig one of the group's beliefs that these laws protect is the Ku Klux Klan. So we'll see where that heads. Um, oh, I can't serve him. I'm a, I'm a member of the Klan. Yeah, that's wow. You know, because. Ku Klux Klan is a Christian organization. Just let that let that sink in. Let that sink in. Um, we're gonna have uh, an entire state full of uh, Westboro Baptist people. It is gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna get a lot worse. Um, and personally, I I, I think that. Um,
it, it shouldn't matter. It should not matter what your deeply held beliefs are. You shouldn't be able to refuse service to anyone just because they're not the same as you. I mean, we, we saw that during the, the 50s and 60s uh, with, you know, diners and stuff having, uh, well, I didn't see it, but I mean, in the history books, I've seen it, where diners and stuff would have uh, no colored signs up on their walls or whites only. And it's just like, for fuck's sake, people, money is money. If you run a public business that is open to the public then by all means everyone in public should have access to your business you don't want to have a public business you don't want to serve anyone who comes into your door with money then don't own a freaking business it's that simple you don't want to do uh I don't know. You don't want to, to serve a, a gay couple or a lesbian couple or a, a trans woman. Then don't own a freaking business. I mean, it's, it's that simple. If you are out peddling your goods to the public and the public is invited into your establishment to do their business to buy your stuff then you should not have the no no this is absolutely ridiculous and you know for one i can't wait because in 20 or 30 years we're all gonna look back on on you on the idiots that passed bullshit like this we're gonna look back at this and they are good that yeah, gonna look like just like those people in the history books with the signs that say segregation forever and all of that nonsense. They are going to look exactly like those other those people in the black and white pictures that that don't want, you know, black people in their schools or whatever. You will look exactly like them. You are on the losing side of history. And that's how you'll be remembered. All of you. What a wonderful legacy. You'll be a loser for generations to come. Congratulations. I, I hope you enjoy your, uh, your idiocy. Because number one, you're going to get discrimination uh, against the people that you're trying to protect. And then you're discriminating, discriminating against the public for for wanting to patronize your business pet patronage yeah wanting to come in and buy things from you personally i hope that everyone that every business that refuses to serve someone because of their gender identity because of their sexual orientation i hope they are all i hope they all go out of business you know and i don't want to see people starve or get hurt but if you want to stand on the wrong side of history then you are the problem and you are the kind of people that that need to not be in the future you need to either change or you need to go away. You need to become extinct. Because this this is not going to cut it in modern society. I don't care. I don't care what your ancient book says. I, I don't. And it's ridiculous that you think that you can make other people live by something that's in a bronze aged book. Okay. No, just no. You, you people, you, and I'm going to use the term humans loosely. It's, it's disgusting.
why why you would do something like that. Uh, but I've been ranting for about 10 minutes or so. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. I'll leave that uh, open to discussion. If you want to start a discussion, there's a comment box down here somewhere. Um, if you like what you saw, uh, go ahead, pop the like button, and uh, would you kindly subscribe? Uh, and then share this on every social media network that you can even freaking comprehend. Um, I, I just ran out of things to say. I think I'm broken. Uh, oh, for f yeah. Okay, well, uh, I will catch you all on the flip side.